Hello, it's Joanne and it's Saturday, it's a beautiful day, well it certainly is up in Wishaw anyway where I'm staying um, and yeah, it's Saturday, good and I've got something to unbox and again, it's, as I said earlier, it's not a makeup thing my mammy is quite jealous about this because my mammy is a bit of a tea jenny I don't know if anyone says that in other places, I don't know if that's just a Scottish terminology, tea jenny I'm a tea jenny as well, I do like my tea but I'm not into all your your different types of teas I would love to be. Um, I've just never really tried things. So this I'm I'm quite excited about and I can't wait to open it and just see everything that's inside it. It's quite large. Um so yeah, this is gonna be good. So as I said, I do like my tea. I've got, you know, my little tea milk jug in my teapot as well that I bought in a shop in the West End in Glasgow and my mum said, Joanne, why are you spending that money on the teapot? You'll never use it. Yes, mummy, I did use it. And I've also got my favourite mug, chip, which I got from Freemark. So, yeah, I'm, I do like my tea. Um, not a coffee drinker at all, but, yeah, I am I am a tea fan. So, this is from 10 Teas. So, thank you very much for sending me this to review. Now, they can be found on the internet at www.10teas.co.uk. They're also on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. You can get links from their website to the pages. Now, they do seem quite a, a new box. I, um, and also, I, I think from their social media, they don't they don't really seem to have a huge social media presence yet. So I'm taking that to, to read that they are, you know, a very new box, which we're, we're all about box session here. We all love, you know, supporting small businesses, supporting the small box owners and things like that, because you can get all your big boxes, but, you know, we like to support the, the small the small businesses. So I'm definitely feeling quite confident about this one, um, and I really I really am hoping it's, it's a good one. So what 10 Teas do, um, they've got two different kind of strands of what they offer. They offer your, your more standard subscription service, which at the time being, it's now £10.00. It should be £15, but it's reduced to £10. I'm just not sure if that's going to be £10 every month or if it then defaults back up to 15 So that's a little bit unclear. And what you get with that is 10 different loose leaf teas. You get 10 grams of tea, so you're going to get 100 grams of tea in total. Now, I meant to compare the price of loose leaf tea before I came on to do this, but I forgot, so I'll check that and put that in the review. Um, but I think it seems quite a good deal. Um, you can also get the, the word I can never say, connoisseur. Connoisseur? box um, which is normally £20 but again it's down to £15 and the connoisseur box is when you choose the type of tea that you want so you can choose green tea, you can choose Darjeeling, you can choose whatever and they'll send you 10 different types of tea which fall under that and what they do that I've got is the, and you can see it there, it says starter, whoop, there we go, starter box there so having a little look at the um, the email that they sent me. This is basically it is exactly what it says on the tin. It's your starter box. It's going to have everything that you want when you're when you're drinking your tea. So um just seeing if I've missed anything here. What they also do is they do tea boxes for different types of tea. So you can just go and buy a dedicated one off bespoke box. So I mean there, there's loads. There's loads you can choose from Assam, breakfast tea, your Darjeeling, your Earl Grey fruit infusions, your green tea, your herbal teas, your wee boss teas, I can't pronounce either. And again, they're all £10 each. And as I say, just one-off bespoke boxes. They also do sell accessories as well, little teapots, um, tea cups and things like that. In my opinion, I think they're possibly missing a trick here because I think there's lots of lovely tea accoutrements and things that you can get out there. I mean, just I mean, look at that. I mean, that, that was for Primark. How cute is that? So I think they could actually source some really, really nice little bits and bobs, you know, the, the accessories to go with it. So that would just be my only, you know, minor, kind of, not, not quibble even, but just minor comment um, right now. Because I do think from what's going to be in this, I think, you know, they could they could actually be doing something really good with that. So it's um, free delivery with your subscription box, um, with your subscription service. And they say it should fit through your letterbox. So obviously, because this is a starter kit, it's a little bit bigger. It was delivered Royal Mail, so absolutely fine. And if you're on the subscription service, you get charged on the first of the month and they ship on the fifth. So it's really, really good. It's quite a, quite, you know, you're not even to wait ages to get your box. And the subscription as well, you can auto, it's also renewal, but you can pause it and you can... 
um, skip a month if you're going on holiday or if you've got a ton of tea in your house, you don't need any more at the time being. So that is what um, 10 teas offer and I think I'm just going to get stuck into this now. So as I said, it's quite large. I'm trying to shake it about too much because I can hear things rattling inside it. And it's a starter box. So I'm not going to tell you everything that's in this. So yeah, I did have a little look myself at the contents description. Um, but I don't want to give it all away. So, oh, 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 here we go. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, and I seem to have opened it upside down, so I'm just going to try. Oh, my word. Yep. Yep, that's really nice. I'm just going to try and put it back in because I've opened it upside down there. And I want you to get the full effect of what I'm seeing here. So, I'm going to try and hold it up without spilling the contents. Uh, I think you can see there's ten little cute little jars, pots of tea, and um, we've got the description right in the opening bit. Also got the little bits and bobs, which I will come to, that's so cute. Um, so yeah, this looks great. So it tells you there what your contents are. So number one is a creamy Earl Grey, oh look, there you go, on the little box you've got your sticker so it's really really super easy to see um sealed there so you know it's all it's all tip top condition and these are great these are great wee tubs as well i mean for someone who's you know i'm quite into my recycling and things like that and reusing things up using things upcycling and these are great so you definitely you definitely get the use out of this um i wonder if they do do a maybe a recycle kind of scheme um maybe something to look at remember in the other places maybe offer things like that where if you return your parcels and I'm having some problems trying to get this open so just bear with me I was warned that this might be a little bit tricky I would rather have something that's a bit difficult to open rather than you open your box and <laughs> everything spread about like a I'm not going to say that because I was going to swear but yeah so I, I'm not quibbling about that so that's the Earl Grey creamy Earl Grey I'm not a huge Earl Grey fan but I've never really drank it too much and that actually smells really really nice and there's even little blue leaves in it, which I'm going to try and hold up. Look, where's the camera? So, can you see that? It's like lavender or something, I'm not too sure. Um, but that smells absolutely delicious. Oh, I can't wait. I actually can't wait. I stopped drinking um, round about, well, October, November, and I got diagnosed with depression, went on fluoxetine, and uh, I gave up the baby. So my weekends now consist of drinking the Sicilian lemonade as my, my little treat. And this tea is actually going to be right up my street because I'll be I'll be trying all this. This will be my drinks now for the for the weekends when I'm not wanting, you know, don't want an alcoholic drink. And I can just try all my different teas. So also we've got an Assam breakfast blend. I used to have tea in the morning, um, a cup of tea in my fag before going to work, but I've kind of got out of that habit now, so I probably need to get back into that and start eating breakfast as well. And um, we've got an Izmir Spice Chai. Let's see, I'll look at, hold on, if you can see the reflection there. But look at that. That is proper, proper tea. I want to get a sniff at this one, so I'm going to just try and open it. Yeah, the packaging's absolutely, it's, it's a little bit fiddly, but as I say, it's rather that than... It spilled out and all this. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Oh, do you want to smell it? Oh, yeah, that is getting tried first, I think. Oh, God, I've still got so many to try. Chinese ginger. Oh, mommy, you would love that, I think. And again, you can see the little bits of ginger inside. Number five. Oh, we have, oh, no, no, wait a minute. I'm going to put them back in the wrong place. That's not very organised or me. Pear and ginger. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I'm not going to open all of these because I'll be here all day if I open them all to snuff them. Oh, relaxation. I think we can all do it with a bit of that in our lives. So that will be my tea before I'm going to my bed rather than drinking normal tea. That's going to be my tea. What's this? Red. Oh, blood orange. Oh. Look at that. How gorgeous. And I'm going to need to have a sniff of this as well because this sounds divine um, and you will also guess they offer a mixture of caffeinated and decaffeinated tea as well oh that smells oh that smells like christmas oh that's so gorgeous 
Actually, I think Scott quite liked these as well because he quite likes his kind of fruity teas. So I think he'll actually probably be quite into this. Cool mint. And again, I mean, just look at the quality of it. Um, Blue Spring Oolong. <laughs> Interesting. Try that one. And the last one is Cream and Caramel, the word that I can't say, Rebos. I've tried Rebos once and I wasn't mad keen on it, but I'll definitely give that a wee try. So that's all the teas. So you might think, got all these lovely loose sleeve teas. What are you meant to do with it? Well, here we go. If you're like me and you just use your tea bags, you don't really know what to do with your tea. Um, this is, as I said, starter kit. It has got everything that you need. So, I'm just checking I've not dropped anything. Now, what is this? Oh, a digital tea timer. How cute is that? I'm quite a stickler when I make my tea. I do like to let the tea bags steep. I never put the milk in first. Um, that is just wrong on so many levels. Um, yeah, I do take sugar um, and I do take milk. So I do, I do, yeah, I do look like a good cup of tea. Um, I don't let Scott make me tea because he's absolutely diabolical at making tea and it's just disgusting. It's like baby tea. Ugh. So I'm the tea maker in the house. So yeah, I mean, I do think there's a lot to be said for making your cup of tea properly, which this little comes in handy. 10 steps to make the perfect cuppa. Now, some people might think, oh, it's a cup of tea. Just chuck the tea bag in. Oh, just let it go. No, don't. Follow your steps because, and I think especially with tea like this, you really do need to make the ceremony out of it. I mean, go back to all the, the kind of cultural Japan and China. It's always been a ceremony. So I think it's really, really nice to have your own wee ceremony and do your own wee ceremony when you're making a cup of tea. You're not going to drink teas like this every time you have a cup of char, but I, I think it's lovely. I think it's so, so nice and I can't wait to get all these learned off by heart and I'll be making it properly. So what you do, um, if you're like me, you don't really know, you should warm your cup and infuser. So this is your infuser. Oh, sorry, my stomach's probably about to rumble. Yeah, so look at that. Oh, yeah, that's quite nifty, isn't it? Oh, quite like that. Oh, so cute. And a little bit of instruction. Oh, it's going to be... Oh, okay, okay, let's see. Right, so pull straight before use. Turn on the silicon handle. And then you put it on your mug. So, yeah, must be. Must be something, yeah, like that. I mean, this won't work too good because it's quite small. But So you're loose leaf tea, go in there, and you'll plonk it in your water. But let's just double check in case I'm hypothesising. Oh, and I've lost my, lost my, I've lost my sheet of paper now. Where's my sheet of paper? Yeah, so warm your cup and infuser, rinse it with warm water. Place the infuser inside your cup, which I said. Scoop one spoon of loose leaf tea into the infuser. Now, you've been using that thinking, hmm, a spoon. What's a spoon? Teaspoon? Tablespoon. Haha! That's where this little cute thing comes in. <laughs> Not the kind of spoons that sometimes we see up in Scotland, but look at this. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Can you see that? It says one cup of perfect tea. And it is <laughs> a little cute little spoon. I don't know, I can see myself in it. Um, to make the perfect cup of tea. So, let's just see how much you'll probably get out of this. So I'll open the creamy Earl Grey one that I opened it earlier and not spill it all over the place again. I reckon you're going to get about, oh yeah, you're going to get loads out of that. I mean, that that's, there's a, a full, and it's hardly made a dent in that. I mean, I reckon you're going to get, I think at least, at least five cups of tea out of one of these wee tubs, which is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. That is such, such good value for money. It's such a bargain. So, yep, yeah, pour your freshly drawn water into the kettle, which, yep, yeah, again, you should always boil your water fresh. Don't ever reboil water. I don't really know if it makes much of a difference, but people say it does, so do that. And then, yep, yeah, you put your boiled water into your infuser with your tea, and then this is where the little timer comes in. You set your timer for the appropriate brewing time for your tea. So, and here, this little leaflet that we've got, it tells you about the 10 different types of tea that they stock. And it tells you here what your best way to to brew it is. Um, so that, that's really handy as well. So maybe staple these little bits together 
stick them together in your fridge so that you're not going to use it. I mean, for example, it says chai should be brewed for four to seven minutes. Um, black tea, which is obviously, you know, the, the most common consumed tea. Even that, you should let brew for three to five minutes. Now, I said earlier, I like, I do let my tea brew. I don't think I even let it brew for as long as five minutes. I think we get impatient and we're just like, make the tea, I just want to drink it. And you, you don't, you don't make it properly. You're not getting the full, you know, the full effect of the tea. And I think with teas like this, it's super important that you're, you're following it and you're doing your ritual and you're doing your what you should be doing to make a good cup of tea. So that's brilliant. So here's your little timer, which I'm losing everything here, <laughs> which I just love. Um, and yep, then once your brewing time has been reached, you dip your infuser a couple of times, circulate the water. You... Oh, so it says then, it says you remove the infuser and set aside for second brewing. So I'm taking that to mean that you can use, you can get two cups of tea out of one wee teaspoon. So that makes it even better value, because I mean, if I said, I thought you were going to get at least five cups of tea out of one spoon. That's actually, if you can use it twice, ten cups of tea. So the value of this is amazing, I can't believe this. Um... Yep, and there you go. Enjoy your perfect cuppa on its own. And now, you can do whatever you want to. We're not going to be tea Nazis and tell you what you can and can't drink. Um, but you should, you, you know, you can use sugar, you can use milk, you can use honey, you can use lemon. Whatever you want to do, I think just make sure you brew it properly and then the world's your oyster. Just throw in whatever you want and to your taste, whatever. So I think that's great. So all in all, I am, I, I, I just can't believe this. Um, so that might have been controversial, so what I said there, bad joke. Um, just, we can maybe edit that out. Um, I, I really like this. I really, really, really like this. I think the value for money is fantastic. Now, I'm not, I'm not too sure how much these actually hold. I mean, I don't, I don't recall if it actually said anywhere about how many, grams this is but as I say the subscription box you're going to get 10 loose leaf teas with 10 grams of tea I think that probably is 10 grams in there I'm not really sure but uh, seeing if it's not seeing if it's half of that that you're getting that is still a brilliant brilliant value for money as I say the subscription it's 15 pounds a month but you can sign up for it just now and it's 10 pounds but as I say whether that then defaults back up to the 15 pounds I don't know but 10 pound 15 pound a month <laughs> this is brilliant this is so brilliant and then just make sure you get your starter kit and get all your little accoutrements that you need well, in terms of if you've got that yourself you could just you know sign straight up for the we've got another box and with the consumer box or you could just buy one of your the you know the one-off boxes so yep thank you very much tenties and um, for sending this to me i am going to go and have some tea i don't quite know what i'm going to have oh this is too good this is too good so i very, very, very impressed. It is a huge, huge, huge thumbs up from me. 10 Tees, www.10tees.co.uk and I will sample all of this lovely goodies and I will write up my review, which will follow. So definitely recommend this. And everyone, I hope you all have a lovely Saturday and I will see you when I do my next unboxing, whenever that will be. Bye.